sporting a rather wind-blown look today. Hope you like it. Um, I thought... I didn't really know what I was going to talk about today. Um, most days I wake up and have something that comes up or during the meditation something comes up. Um, I was thinking about the different parts of the self in a way. Okay, so here's the story. I was up half the night <laughs> with um, cats and dog disturbances and I am recovering from a long illness as you probably know and it's really hard on my body to skip sleep like I can really feel it and yet there's this other layer of myself that feels okay you know is okay with it and it just reminds me of this multiple personality kind of thing going on that's not really a good phrase but um, there's the body and it has its own intelligence it has its own understandings and history and memories and goals and aspirations and desires and there's the deeper self that has its own memories and ideas and goals and desires and there's also the mental self the intellectual self or the brain or the ego self that has its own set of ideas and thoughts and beliefs and desires and goals and sometimes that gets really clear for me that there it's like there's three different people, three different selves living in this one organism like a Portuguese man-o-war kind of thing, you know, where it's, um, it's a kind of a jellyfish if you don't know, but it's not actually one creature. It's actually a colony of, I think, four creatures coexisting as one unit and they're, they're quite fascinating you could look them up that's how I feel a lot of the time and I find it a very beneficial way of a very beneficial awareness because there are a lot of times where the body will say something and if we're not aware that it's got its own agenda going on perfectly valid, I'm not saying it's not valid, but if we don't realize it's not us, that it's just our body, we can get all thrown off and, and uh, confused and um, lose track of our own real deeper desires and goals. And the same with the ego, of course. So what that looks like for me today is that my body is feeling um, jangled and uh, not really clean, like it's got those uh, toxins that sleep is supposed to clear out, still going on in there to some degree, and there's a sadness that it's feeling around not getting its needs met and not getting the sleep that it requires to function properly. And I can, with this awareness of the multiple selves, I can be okay with that, essentially. I can, I can notice that, I can accept that. I can have compassion and, and tenderness for my body, which is in a mode of a little bit of suffering right now. But without getting and, let's say and, without getting caught up in it as if it's me and and distracted from deeper realities and deeper, deeper truths. And the deeper truth right now is that I feel a kind of a peace and I'm okay. 
um, my body's going through some stuff, but I, the, the greater I, am okay, even so. That's like, whew, such a freedom to not be caught up and confused about what's really going on for me. Like, one layer of what's going on for me is not all the layers of what's going on for me. And this awareness of the multiple selves, the multiplicity of self, is really beneficial in that. Another way that shows up for me really strongly, really clearly, I think this might have been um, where I started to really clue in to this multiplicity of self, was when I think about death, when I face death, I came very close to death last year. And um, I th thought I came very close to death a, f a few years before that. I'm not sure if I did, but, you know, thought I was having a heart attack and called the ambulance and everything. And facing that imminence, like that immediate, right in your face, next step is death kind of experience. I noticed, it was more real to me. I mean, I, I've often thought, maybe you have too, what will it be like when I die? How will I face my death? Am I afraid of death? That kind of thing. And I've always thought, that I'm not afraid of death. It really holds no fear for me, no doubt for me. I have so many experiences with people on the other side and crossing over and past lives or other lives um, in other dimensions or planets or something. It, the, it has no reality for me that death is an ending. So I've never been afraid of death, but when I hit that sort of, um, like, you know, I was on the launching pad kind of thing, or, or standing on the tip of the diving board, maybe that's a better analogy, my body said very clearly <laughs> and emphatically that, yes, it is afraid of death. And at the time... It's, it was easy to get caught up in that and go, I am afraid of death. But as I sat with it, you know, as you have to, sometimes there's nothing else you can do. You're there. You're right there. There's nowhere else you can be. You're drawn into the moment, like, um, conclusively. I thought, like, I, I recognized that even though I've always had this knowing and this comfort around death, my body had its own ideas about it, and my body was not at all thrilled with the idea. It was not at all complacent <laughs> with the idea. Um, so that was a, real, a really eye-opening experience. That was really a level of awakening for me that has continued to reverberate through my awareness and through the years. And so now what I do is that I recognize that my body, this beloved teacher and companion and servant and child that I'm going through life with, this life with, this body can feel these things and I can be ab above that. I can like rise above that or or be bigger than that feeling and encompass it and hold the body's fears and feelings with compassion and, and presence, you know, like be there for myself with love and gentleness. And that makes all the difference in the world, like all the difference in the world. Because if we, if we can't be there with, with the feelings, if we can't experience them on multiple levels or essentially essentially if we can't be there with our feelings if we're trying to push them down or ignore them or reject them I don't know if you can hear that that's my cat trying to get in the door um, she'll manage it uh, if, if we 
try to dissociate or reject those feelings, we're rejecting ourselves, our inner selves, our, our younger selves, our, our body selves. And that's our magical self as well. That's the, the self that feels joy and, and wonder and awe and can do magic and it really enjoy life in a way that maybe no other level of self can do. So if we cut that off, we're cutting off all of that and we're abandoning ourselves. We're abandoning our inner child, our, our, our inner selves. Whereas if we can just be present with it and say, darling, I know you're feeling this and I'm here and I understand and I'm with you and I'm not leaving you. I'm, I'm right here with you. It just erases any trauma that may come of that and re-allows for being well and being okay in the moment. Really, our bodies only want to be heard. They need to be heard. And if we are not present with them, if we can't witness for them and with them, then they store that as trauma and uh, mechanical behavior and um, disruptive patterns of you know, so-called self-protection instead of just feeling it, being present with it, and allowing it to move. The emotions will always move if we can be there with them. So anyway, um, that's what I wanted to share today. That's where I came to today as I was thinking, what can I share on this video? How can I, what level of deeper awareness can I bring to, to my day? That's what I ask myself when I'm wanting to do these videos, and that's what my practice is, is bringing a deeper level of awareness that I might not be as motivated to do or remember to do if I'm just getting up and going about my day and not stopping to do these, um, these videos with you. So that's all for today. I hope it's, it's been interesting for you. Uh, it's been interesting for me, and I love sharing these things with you and hoping that in some way they can elevate your your life and and improve your experience of, of being here in this body in this time. So have a lovely, wonderful day and I will see you again tomorrow. Blessed be.